and welcome everyone to the rehosted game for the 2v2 2v2 semi-finals i am your host oath alliance well caster actually and hopefully this time we won't have to rehost again uh, sadly there's quite a few areas that just don't have much on them just want to make sure to kill both the commanders off and all right looks like they're not in too bad of a situation we've got i think over here which is gunshin and cola colin and then we have both of these guys down looks like they're working together on just building things to start off with and looks like they're jumping on an air factory a uh, cybernetic pony and gutta which is actually pretty interesting normally you'd go with a bot factory just to start building up around you and it looks like now they're going for a bot factory which is surprising because they only have one power generator and those air fabric air factories do take up a lot of power but it looks like they're going down a bomber to start with and it looks like that they're split up and doing their base build power going up here and standard bot factory to build bot fabricators out of got the bomber off and the bombers slowly scouting they've been slowed down quite a bit and it's just so hard to fly well with those looks like another bot factory going up to secure down here and just working on the power now and there's the first bot out and it's going looks like it'll either help or go for metal all right looks like it's going for metal there orange is still working on their basic build here just working on power a little bit but not too much going for that metal now still searching around with that one bomber uh, looks like they'll probably be pushing quite a bit with the bombers back at pink pink is still building their basic base just getting some power up there metal over here two bots on metal but that one's stuck which is a shame because it always helps to have more than one looks like Igama unstuck and there we go all right looks like bombers are still scouting looks like they may soon come into contact down here actually I might might take out this first closing in on it and they should see it any moment now and it looks like they've got an idea where this expansion is going to be and they're going to take down that fabric care bot some slow expansion here just moving outwards uh, building some more power looks like they're jumping on building another bot factory either to build doxes to harass or to actually go ahead and get started attacking but it looks like they found pink here so they'll just sort of move their bombers around haven't scouted up here though near the north which is going to be a good advantage for them just for the fact that if they can't see them they can just come right around here and hit them no scouting done by pink yet it looks like they're getting up some fighters just to take care of these bombers that have been flying around and been a pretty big annoyance one fighter out of the gate here for orange and they're just going to move things around probably end up scouting the north here which will get them location here running a little behind on the scouting game here already one fighter up just searching around for them just to see uh, they should have a pretty good idea just because the bombers came from this way so they should have an idea looks like they should find them nope looks like they passed them over here but it looks like that pink has found has been found up here in their secondary base building an anti-air just to go ahead and take care of that that's built really quick and two shots pop pop and it's dead and that bomber's gone more fighters flying around now can't be sure if they've scaled them yet but I don't think they have uh, just fighters sort of following these guys around which looks like double kill uh, there and pink still looks like they're missing just missing all of this as these guys expand which is a real big shame because if they knew where they were they would just start lining up things to start hitting them uh, more building going on looks like a tank factory started 
And it looks like they're getting some ants out now, probably to send in. Looks like they're pushing forward with their commander, either to secure a forward base here or to just go ahead and cause some more problems. Uh, Pink's still scouting. And they should run into the base any moment now. And Orange has been scouted officially, as far as I know. So now Pink knows exactly where they're going to have to be watching out for. And this is an interesting move. They're moving both their commanders forwards towards this base, which is kind of a bad idea, just for the fact that if both of these commanders were to get caught without any fabricators to help them, then they could just get so much damage done to them and die. Um, looks like they are building forward bases here just to go ahead and take out their first opponent here. Make sure that he can't expand towards them. Uh, still not much going on here, just a little bit of building some basic defenses out there. Looks like they're building some ground fabricators there. Not a lot of war industry going on. Uh, do see some bots coming out here just to go ahead and probably do some early raiding. These ones will probably go ahead and take all of the metal up here at the north. Another air factory going up for Orange, which is surprising, just because it costs a lot of power, and they haven't been building too much power. Actually, power looks like it's been left unfinished in favor of just building military might. They're moving both their commanders forwards one commander going out here, the other one coming in here. Probably be a fight between commanders. Getting up some defenses in here just to surprise that commander, especially since he has no backup to speak of. Another commander coming in here with more tanks, and it'll be interesting to see whether or not they lose this battle. Right now, the battle was definitely shifted in Orange's favor. They're just coming around here destroying everything. But some more defenses going up here. Quite a bit of power here, so knock them down pretty well. Building some factories back here just to go ahead and secure sort of a backup route. Uh, building a turret here just to back up this commander and this one here too. Uh, moving those fabricators back out of the way. Be interesting. Looks like he's not going to move them forwards, which is surprising just for the fact that they could be definitely repairing. And that fabricator is gone, so this commander is open and ripe for the killing. Looks like we get an uber shot off onto pink there. Orange is doing some pretty good damage. They're getting some repairing done by those bots. And it'll be interesting to see if all right, looks like he's still moving his commander out, and these Fabricators bots are coming in, trying to help him, but they're just right in the way, and he's pushing forwards, trying to take care of that commander here. And that Fabricator bot is going to be in the middle, and we'll probably see this commander go down here in a moment, and both commanders will be going down. Boom. Quite a big loss to both their teams. Two commanders gone. It's a pretty big loss to both sides. Um, not doing anything over here with these fabricators, which is a shame. They're just being taken out by this lone docks. Moving in some more raiding here, taking down their outer defenses, taking down two of those mexes, which is helpful, but not as good as them taking down so much of that power that is just stationed right here, killing the rest of it. Getting some more fabricator bots up, trying to work on something moving their base back, but they're going to just start building it right on the grave of all of those. Just building some more factories as they expand slowly. Looking in here, some great raiding being done by these bots. They're just moving right through and looks like they got stopped and they're going to be taken down by those two ants. More fighters flying around and commander going in, which is surprising just for the fact that there's not a lot to back him up. It's way back here. So who knows what their plan is. But with the commander down here, he won't be able to stop this commander really from moving in, so they'll have to rely on their troops. Which it looks like they are pulling back into this battle. Moving around, some pretty nice expansion. Looks like that they've gone ahead and caught up here. Some ants moving out, and they're sh taking some shots. 
at that vehicle fabric factory. Fabricare is building some turrets just to defend this point from any of these docks is coming in here. Tanks moving in and just destroying all those fabricators, which is a pretty big shame. I've already found those factories there. More bots moving in. They're just going to go ahead and take that down with relative ease. Here comes the commander. He's just shooting off some shots and these bots are just moving around just trying to stay out of the way. Looks like pretty good microing going on there. Just dodging all those shots. Staying alive. That turret goes down. Two ants coming in here. Just to go ahead and back up that commander. Not a lot to speak of. Just coming out. Uh, taking some time. Just the distance between these two. It takes a long time for anything to get down here. Going for the last fabric. The last factory here. Bot factory for those. And looks like this place has become pretty well defended against any attacks. They might move their commander. Look, well, actually, it does look like they're moving their commander up to take care of this spot, which would be a great point just to build a few more defenses to hopefully take down that commander, which would make this game go really fast. Good assault by the commander here, just pushing in. Uh, got, definitely got to move back there. Watch out for it. Got fabricators on it, helping to repair it. Want to move those fabricators out of the way of that ant. And it looks like the ant's pulling back here, but some more coming in around the side. More building going on here. Looks like bot factories going up. Commander is slowly moving northward here. And he's going to start engaging this. And so it looks like they're all going to get moving on another turret here. Hopefully to try to help take down that commander. And commander is taking a little bit of damage, but not a lot from this. Building some more turrets here. Looks like they're building a wall just to go ahead and give that turret an advantage. And they're building another turret. That commander is starting to take some damage. They'll want to move in some extra troops there or move their commander back. One of the two commanders taking quite a bit of a hitting here just from all of those ants. More ants can coming, actually quite a few ants coming in and they'll probably get this base pretty good. Another air factory going up. They've already got two air factory, well one air factory and they keep on trying to build another which is surprising because they're not really using it anything other than fighters. Moving back over here, the commander is taking quite a bit of a hit. His health really went down there. And this place is pretty stabilized. Not much they're going to be able to do. Moving some tanks around this way, probably to try to hit them in the back. Or go ahead and go back here. Two radars up there give them a pretty nice wide view. view. Orange seems to be losing the war for expansion. Just all of this building going on all around the world. And it looks like a nice push from Pink. They're just going to push in here. Bots moving in, taking care of the other things. All those fabric carriers just running around. Not sure where to go. Not sure what they should be doing. And just look at all of those factories that have been built up while they've been kept busy down here. Losing one base and one commander is just not a huge loss for them. Just for the fact they're just shoving so much into this and destroying the first base and with the lack of any expansion down here, they're going to lose just so much up here. And definitely one thing you want to do is make sure your first base is protected. Uh, looks like they're shying away from hitting down here into the main base. Just going ahead and blowing up the sides. Probably going to just take care of all of the outer edges while they build up more of a force. But it looks like they're pushing in again. More ants. Commander right there with all those fabricators behind him. Moving around that one wall. And that turret's taken down. Another part we built turret there. Just all of these engineers doing nothing. These tanks just rolling around in a circle. Not getting in the fight at all. Kind of a disappointment there. And more. Just look at the stream of ants just moving slowly forwards some of them looks like they've stopped just not moving at all which is kind of a sad thing just to see all those unused ants there so many fighters 
and just not doing anything and lots and lots and lots of fabricator bots just not building anything not really doing anything else looks like they're jumping to try to get their defense line up and that turret's definitely going to help and and it's going to go down here pretty quickly looking over here it looks like that they're building more tanks not really much of any sort of line looks like trying to sneak in there and just build a turret but it's a little too close to those ants and they see it and take down those fabricator bots going to move forwards here push in sending their commander up to the front which is a huge mistake just for the fact that they're going to probably lose him unless they're trying to go ahead and get a tie which with the amount of health that their commander has is probably not going to happen just coming in here pink is and just building up some turrets just to sort of reinforce their line of defense more ants pushing in here starting to congregate their groups getting more turrets up here just going ahead and solidify their line here of control coming around here raiding the back just pushing in there they're going to go ahead and end up pushing into this power pretty unharmed more bots trying to move forwards intercept all of these bots just running through quickly building some more vehicle fabricate factories just to go ahead and keep on reinforcing the front lines pushing ants up to the front there moving forward with ants here around the side just taking care of all this just taking out those engineers and they found the other commander and his health is pretty low so if they wanted to they could probably push in and win this pretty quickly it looks like they're going, pink's going to pull their commander back for this moment and leave him there while they move forward uh, looks like the commander's moving in for a punch and we may see him get him off an uber can looks like the alpha is trying to pull back while the commander is just trying to kill off those bots that are helping him went ahead and destroyed that moving in and we'll probably see them take out the fabricators here fabricators are down and he's left pretty much undefended just trying to pull back nothing to defend him which is a big shame they were putting so much up to here it's just none of it com defending their commander their commander's just losing health so quickly and it looks like everyone's calling out good game because it is pretty much over those bots are coming in but they're not going to be able to do enough against all those tanks and it is the end and so cola colin and gunshin win against cyberneck pony and gutta just want to thank you all for watching this cast i am your host of alliance check us out at www.ballisticlogistics.com if you want to see more of our clan until then y'all have a great day